morning, we're here today <laughs> to show you uh, three different ways that you can teach bonds to 100 in year two. And I'm also going to show you a nice little activity that you can do in EYFS today as well. But these are three very different ways you can look at bonds to 100 to hopefully get your children engaged. So Noah, are you ready? Yes, yeah, should we go over there and have a look at what you're doing? So on the floor, I've created quite a large part whole model. So a part whole model is when we have our whole and we have it split into parts. It can be split into more than two parts. You may sometimes see part whole models with three parts, but today we're just using two parts. Because we're looking at bonds to 100, 100 is what is staying at the top of our part whole model. Okay, so... I've got a number, Noah, that I'm going to put into one of our parts here. And I want you to work out what's going to go in the other part, okay? So, if I have the number 60 yeah. in this part, can you count on in tens to see what should go in the other part of the part whole model? 60, so put 60 in your head. 60, 70, 80, 90, mm. Oh, is it 40. just 40? Good boy. So you write 40 on the post it. And then can you put that on the part whole model? Pull it off. Pull. There we go. It's hard to get off. Was it hard to get off? I think you've pulled a few post its off there. And we've got the number 40. Let's just have a look. We can use some more in a minute. There we go. So do you want to put that back on the part whole model? Well, that was a bit... So, 60 add 40 makes what, Noah? 100. 100. If we cover up the tens, so could you cover up the tens on your one? Cover up the tens on your one. What numbers have we got there now? If we pretend the tens four are... Four and six. And what do four and six make? Ten. Ten. So, 6 and 4 make 10, 60 and 40 make 100. 100. Now then, Noah, I'm going to do something slightly different there. I'll leave you that post-it to use next. Yeah. So, instead of 60, are you paying attention? Yeah. Instead of 60, I'm going to take 1 away from 60. If I take 1 away from 60, what number will I have? 59. 59. Good boy. So I'm going to take 60 off my part hall model and put the number 59. But 59 and add 40, 40 don't make 100. They don't make 100, do they? So because I've got one less mm -hmm. on this yeah. side, yeah. what do I need to have? On that side, one more. One more. So, what will the number need to be? You can just write on that white on that post-it. No, no, just leave that post-it on and write on that one straight on there. So, what will the number need to be? Forty-one. Forty-one. Write it on your part whole model. Write it on that post-it on your part whole model. Forty-one. So we're looking at those bonds to 100, those number bonds as well to help us. So Noah, this time, Hello. instead of us covering up the ones, yeah. mm -hmm. can we miss. cover up the tens? And you can know. you cover up the tens on that number? This makes ten. So nine and one make ten, ten. don't it? Yeah. And we can keep going with this and keep doing more and more so that Noah can see the corresponding facts that make 100. Now we're going to play another little game now, Noah. Are you Do ready? I get to use this? Um, you don't get to use uh, the pen at the moment, no. Aww. Okay, so, like Noah, we've got over here some post-its, haven't we, on the floor with numbers on. And we've got a bag. Can you pass me the bag? And in the bag, we have got some digit cards so we've got some cards written That's like this card. it's a card with a number written on so now he's going to pick one of the numbers out of the bag with my eyes closed with your eyes closed and he's going to match it to the to the number on the floor to make the fact that equals 100 
Okay, so are you ready, Noah? Yeah. Are you ready? Hang on, we'll put it over here. So, you got one? Plus. What number have you got? Uh, You've got the number 70. Can we hold it over here? So, Noah, what, what, what number on the floor matches with 70 to make 100? 70 Go on. What did it match with? 30. So 70 add 30 makes 100. Good boy. And this is an activity we can keep going until we've covered them all up. Um, you could also have it where there's more than one child playing as well. So Noah, we've got one more game that we're going to play, haven't we? Yeah? And this game involves... No, you get to use the whiteboard pen this Yay. time. So this time, so come and sit round here so that we can see what you're doing properly. So this time, you have got some dominoes, haven't you? And those dominoes are going to represent a two-digit number. So what number would we have here? What number is that? No, we're not adding them up. We're making a two-digit number. So you've got 50. 60. Not 60, 56. 56. Can we see we've got a two digit number there? Yeah. So can you write 56? Good. And write an add as our operation. So we're making 100. Operation? You mean an operation with doctors? Do? Not an operation that doctors do, no. A maths operation. That tells us whether we're adding, yeah. subtracting, dividing or multiplying. So hang on. So 56, we're going to look at our ones column first and think about our number ones to 10. So 6 add what makes 10? Four. Four. So we're going to have a four in our ones column, aren't we? Yeah? So can we put a four down here? Why does it need to be so far away? Because we still need a number in our tens column, don't we? Now, in our tens... So that's what it equals. It's Well, what it would equal would be 100, but we're going to put a number in here next. So Noah, 56, add what? makes a hundred. Forty-four. Forty-four, good boy. Can you write that down on there? So you need to put another four in your tens, don't you? Well done. Let's have a look at another one. So this time, what number have we got? So we're doing a two digit number. Forty-two. Forty-two, so can you write? No, 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 underneath we're doing another calculation, now another number sentence, 42. And we're going to work out what we're going to add to make 100. So Noah, think about your number bonds to 10. What would we add to 2 to make 10? Uh, 8. 8. Good boy. So 8 is going to go in our 1's column. And then what would need to go in our 10's column? A 5, wouldn't it? So, what number sentence have we got? 42 add 58. And that makes? 100. 100. Let's do the last one and then we'll have a look at what your brother is doing. So, what two-digit number have I got here on this domino? 31. Write down 31. Think about those bonds to 10 yeah. to make. So, what would we add to 1? to make 10. Eight. Not eight. Nine. Nine. Good boy. So put a nine in your ones column. Okay. Well done. And then what would go in my tens column, Noah? Six. Six, wouldn't it? So can you tell me what the number sentence is to make 100? 31 add 69 equals 100. Good boy, well done. Super duper. So what I want you to do now is to carry on with this bag and do the mystery numbers over there. Can you go and do that over there for me and we'll have a look at what Gabriel's doing. So Gabriel, 
we've got a quick little activity for you over here. Do you want to come and have a look? Yeah. yeah. What number's on the post-it? A numbers. What number's on here? Five. Five. And we've got some dominoes, haven't we? Yeah. Sit on your bottom. So, I want to know which dominoes have five dots all together. And if they've got five dots, you need to put them on this uh, post-it. So... It this one that one and that one oh one. you've spotted that very quickly haven't you good boy so if they've got five well done can you put that on here so we've also got that subitizing that instant recognition of what makes a number the word, the good boy. this one and, and there were five right how many's this one got Seven, that's not five, is it? No. no, so let's move that one up there. What about this one? Uh, this one. How many does that have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Does that have five? No. No, so let's put it up there. What about the next one? Um, this one? Yeah, let's count that one. One, two, three, four. Five. Five. That one has five. Good boy. And what about the last one? One, two, three, four, four. Good. And you could also make these into number sentences as well. You could get children to write four, add one equals five, to see that there are lots of different ways that you can make five. So those are our activities today. You can find lots more activities over on our timetable at classroomsecrets.co.uk. It's all right, Noah. Um, and also on our website, you will find loads more uh, practical ideas and resources that you can do with your children. Thank you for joining us and we will see you Bye. tomorrow. Bye-bye.